Hi guys, thank you for joining me. You know, it's really amazing how different it is here in the U.S. compared to the U.K. We have had emergency alerts here in the United States going for years. People get them for everything. Heat warnings, uh, amber alerts for missing children, whatever. Um, in the U.K., they haven't implemented that. But tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, June 22nd, and also on the 29th, they are going to be testing emergency alerts between 1 and 2 p.m. their time. Back in 2013, they were talking about um, having flood alerts. I guess in 2012, they did a test and found that only 12% of the recipients acknowledged that they received the alert. But with the COVID virus, um, yeah, things are different there. They evidently used this emergency alert to notify people about lockdowns. Control, that's what it's all about, control. According to the Independent, um, it's going to make a loud siren-like noise as part of the test. You can opt out of it, but to do that, you have to go into your phone settings, and they're saying if that doesn't work, um, contact your uh, phone subscriber or whoever. This is one of the recent text messages, um, gov.uk coronavirus alert, um, that the government sent out to the people there in the UK. It says new rules in force now. You must stay at home. And for more information, exemptions go to gov.uk coronavirus. Yeah, we really didn't have that many lockdowns here in the United States. Of course, the uh, socialist communist state of um, California did. But I guess people there in the UK, after all these years of not having an emergency alert system, not even set up for flooding or other weather-related types of announcements, people are wondering, why now? I guess on the news there, it's nothing but COVID, COVID, COVID. Even though I guess in the last week, they've only had 16 be people die from the virus. Here, some schools are still closed. That's on the West Coast, of course. Um, here in the Midwest, they're all open. They're still requiring the students to wear masks. But in the state that I'm at, in Florida and different places, yeah, masks are not required anymore. Here on Wikipedia, they have an image of how you can turn off the alerts. I know you guys don't hear a lot about what's going on here in the United States, but they're getting so desperate to uh, get people vaccinated. They're having lotteries where people can win a million dollars. They're giving out free gift cards of about $50, free beer, anything to get people to get the coronavirus. And most people that I talk to don't want the jab. Now, the family that I have in California, yeah, they all got the jab. Yeah, well, I was on the phone with one of my friends there in the UK this evening. He asked me if I knew anyone personally that had died from the coronavirus, and I haven't. Not to say that there hasn't been. So why are they doing this now after all these years and all these other countries have these emergency alerts? Why are they doing it now? Does anyone have any idea? Is this just another form of control? Um, they couldn't even get, let me show you, to the USGS webpage that shows the earthquakes. It was evidently being blocked. They were able to see about earthquake hazards and volcanic hazards and things like that. But the actual earthquakes that are going on here in the U.S., absolutely nothing it's, yeah it said check your connection i'm showing this up here so you can see the web address it's earthquake dot us dot gov forward slash earthquakes map um yeah and then a bunch of other stuff i tried to explain to him let me bring this over that over on this side you can have um one day of all magnitudes one day of 2.5 or greater, seven day 4.5, seven day 2.5, seven days all magnitudes in the U.S., 30 days worldwide. I don't know, maybe he was doing something wrong, but can you guys there in the U.K. get on this webpage 
He had called because of all these earthquakes that they're happening at Yellowstone. His earthquake alerts, which were two, um, didn't list any of them. Now it's up to 51 earthquakes within the last 24 hours. Yeah, I was really surprised at the censoring that goes on there in the UK. They get a lot of their information from YouTube, um, WhatsApp, um, Snapchat, I guess. Yeah, I would be a little suspicious. Um, are you guys suspicious over there? I have a lot of followers from the UK. Please put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.